All right, so for this recording, I'm gonna show you how you do activity three, which is qualitative analysis um, for ion exchange capacity. So what we would have done in, in lab was taken a centrifuge tube like this. Uh, we would have taken these other tubes and gotten it to fit in like so. Okay, so it would be up in the air, hanging. And then what we do is we have two solutions. We have what's called crystal violet, which is purple, and we have EOS and Y, which is orange. I'm gonna show you the EOS and Y. Now EOS and Y is negatively charged. So it's gonna obviously be attracted to positively charged soils. Crystal violet is positively charged. So that would be attracted to negatively charged soils. And the more anions and cations we have in soil, you're gonna be able to attract um, different um, minerals, what have you, okay? Um, so what we would have done is taken 20 drops of this, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 20, okay? And then you would have added water by one milliliter, right? So that's one, two, there's three milliliters in that pipette. Fill it up again, it's another two. I'm only doing this faster because I know how many it'll take. Another two. Remember, what we would do is we would wait till we started to see a drop come through the bottom. It's right there. Okay. So that would be around seven for this sample. I gave you the data, which is probably, it could be a little bit higher. But what we would look at is how many milliliters of water it took to draw that through, and then what the color was, right? The, the darker the color, that means the less attraction. And the less water we have to put through the sample, the less attraction. So if I have to put five milliliters of water to get a drip of that orange color versus let's say 20 milliliters, the 20 milliliters of water means, tells you that the color, the Eosin Y or the crystal violet um, was attracted to the soil more. So if there's no attraction, the color would run through it quicker. So the lower the, the water amount, if we see a color at, with a minimal amount of water, that tells you that there's less attraction. The more water we have to use um, tells you that there's a greater attraction. Okay, so hopefully that helps explain what was actually going on um, with activity three.